Good day everyone. So today in this video, I will be showing you how to implement uh, interceptors on K12 client. So we we'll begin up from uh, where we left off in the previous video, getting started with K12 client on Android. So this was what we were able to uh, come up with at the end of that video. So I will be showing you what uh, the end result of this tutorial will birth for us in this session. So, uh, in cases where, uh, so in cases where the uh, um, user of your uh, of your app uh, maybe uh, runs open something that requires internet connection and for one reason or the other they probably forgot to turn on their wi-fi or turn on their uh, cellular connection and everything um, most times most apps just um, just go ahead and execute that connection until it's a timeout or returns a message that that doesn't really directly point to the fact that the user forgot to turn on the internet connection right so one way i usually do this is to um, use interceptors uh, initially with a retrofit but yeah i'll be showing how to implement this same feature with k right so let's get down to it so what we need right now is to uh, create a plugin that will look like something like this what we can easily install what we can install on k right so we'll first go right here let's create our i'll call it uh, internet interceptor yes i need it to take uh, application I need to take application right because I need to be able to access the connectivity manager. So I'll decide the form as internet connection. So for now, let's return false. So um we need to now implement the uh, interface so if we're going to create um, we're going to create a plugin you need to uh, implement this feature http client feature which takes um, uh, which takes types of your configuration and the feature or the plugin that you are that we'd like to uh, create right so we go we'll go ahead and create our config and the internet interceptor so yeah i'm going to create the configuration uh, so i'll make it a uh, i'll make it a uh, config and what i need here is application application make it nullable and first make it null so now that that is done we we'll have to implement the, uh, three from the two functions and the um, field the key the attribute key so why did I do this part first Key and put internet interceptor. I'll call it internet interceptor. Alt and uh, at the install block, this is where we handle uh, basically what we'd like to. Uh, um, uh, the this is where we handle the action that needs to be that needs to be carried out in this pipeline right so at this point what i want to do is intercept and in kato uh, kato handles 
uh, interception handles uh, its um, transfer of data from request to response as in request to the server and server back to the device with uh, pipelines right so it all happens sequentially there are various phases so those phases are those areas that uh, are like uh, each uh, you represent uh, is uh, you represent a section or a, is a, uh, a flow or is that what I call it, a flow you represent a step in the flow of that um, in the flow of data from the request to the server uh, from the server back to the user information for response and also there are four four let's check I think there are four or five phases for the request pipeline. I will be making emphasis on okay. Yeah, we have before, we have render, send, state, and transform. But for this, for what we were trying, what we are trying to achieve here, we need uh, we're working with before. So in here, we we'll check if uh, we see this internet sector object here. So feature. Feature dot as internet connection, which is this function here. If it is, if it has, so if it has no internet connection, we expect it to throw an exception or call this. I'll create the custom exception here. Call no internet exception. So I'm typing shit. Exception. And then this. So we do a no internet exception here and pass a message. The message here could be check your internet connection and uh, try again. Right? It could be anything, you could put something else there something your users will understand and if there's no and if there's internet connection just proceed with subject so subject here in this case is basically what you um the, the uh, uh will i say the data that was manipulated at this point in the interception but we didn't really manipulate data we really checked the status of the user of user the connection so um bottom line when you're done with your state just proceed with so the, the next phase will receive this subject right so that's fine so now at this point this is where we now build up the, uh, an instance of the feature that we just created so after that we we'll config we we'll take uh, config dot apply uh, apply then passing this block, then now return internet interceptor and use the config dot application to build this. And just in case the um, user, the developer working on this for one reason or the other forgot to pass in this. If you are working with a team, you can handle this by also throwing throw in a, a no pointer you can throw in no pointer exception here and just uh, just in the Q forget to pass in the application on the uh, internet Right. So uh, this is just for you know, so in case you're working in a team. So if your developers or if someone implementing this for one reason or that forgets to pass in this application, just to this exception. This should not even happen for a user in real time. It's not expected to happen. This is just for the developers working with.
So um, with that in place, there's only uh, we have a couple of things to also do. So we could also rather than just returning false here, we can now make use of this application to uh, get the man again from the team manager. Use the application that gets system service uh, context that activity service class to activity manager right and then uh, we also need the manager to use to get network capabilities and it needs network so we can use uh, we can just get this manager dot active network okay we can save this as a capabilities as product right so if we return uh, capabilities it's not equal to null and uh, and it has capabilities network capabilities dot added in it. So if it has internet capabilities and the capabilities is not null, it just returns that right. So uh, so now we go back to the API service class we created and now install this as a plugin right and here we we'll say the application will be equal to context which i need to get which is application right and context then in the uh, where we call this guy which is in the main activity yeah we're not passing this uh, application yeah yeah so one more thing in the repository implementation of course this will get handled because it's uh we're listening for any kind of exception but we could still go further to catch this we could still go further to catch it uh, let's see now uh, internal interceptor dots management connection right and see um, this uh, let's paste this here so with all this in place everything should be fine so that's uh Let's build this and check for errors. Nice. Let's run the app. Yeah, so check it out. I'm gonna try it again. So I guess you got the handle properly. Let's see. It's weird. Connect to the internet connection. Let's see how we handle it. So I guess it's working. So um, quick recap: to create your own plugin like this, what you need to do is you need to implement this. Just uh, this interface, the HTTP client feature, it takes your configuration and the plugin that you, the plugin you're trying to implement, right? So uh, when you after doing that, you need to override the install function and the prepare function, 
and also assign a logical key to this uh, plugin, right? So um, the, inter the install function is where you handle the you carry out whatever action you want to carry out within that scope, within that pipeline uh, phase you'll be working in, right? In my case, I'm working with it before. See, this is actually from and here they are pointing out that this is the eldest phase and this is exactly what I want so I want it to be before the, the quest goes out so that's why I used before so depending on your use case you can choose to use any of the other ones but this is what I need for this use case so um, when that is undoed uh, now while, while we're in the phase where of the pipeline we're supposed to work on you check if yes internet connection right to call this function to check if there's internet connection if there isn't it throws an up a no internet connection a no internet exception and right and if there is if an internet connection just proceeds by calling the proceed with function and returns the object that is to be passed down to the next uh, phase of that of the pipeline and all. And the prepare block is where we return an instance of the internet interceptor that has been built with the configuration that we have shared or we passed to the uh, to the to the HTTP client feature interface. So I guess that wraps it up for this video. Please, if you uh, if you like the video, please just smash that like button, uh, subscribe, turn on post notification, and please do me a favor, just share the video with your friends. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.